Do you have your facts straight about where your watershed is located? Everyone in the world lives in a watershed. We live in the Red Deer River watershed. Our watershed is 49,650 square kilometers. The Red Deer River originates in Alberta's Skokie Valley in Banff National Park, an area of high alpine tundra with stunted coniferous trees and willow meadows in a marshy terrain located in Canada's Rocky Mountains. The Red Deer River watershed is home to over 300,000 residents. Red Deer is the largest urban center with over 98,000 residents. Other major communities in the basin include Empress, Brooks, Strathmore, Drumheller, Innisfail, Olds, Didsbury, Caroline, Sundry, and is now, with urban development in Calgary, part of the northeast portion of the city. The major rivers, creeks, wetlands, and lakes that make up the watershed includes Red Deer Lakes, Panther River, James River, Raven River, Medicine River, Little Red Deer River, Waska Sioux Creek, Pine Lake, Sylvan Lake, Gull Lake, Buffalo Lake, Three Hills Creek, Kneehill Creek, Rosebud River, Machichi Creek, Berry Creek, Matswitchin Creek, and Alkali Creek. The Red Deer River watershed is considered a headwater basin with a small amount of glacial feed, and therefore most Approximately 80% of the water comes from mountain runoff in the form of snow or rain. All of the water that is collected in our watershed flows to the Hudson Bay. The Red Deer River joins up to the South Saskatchewan River seven kilometers over the provincial border. From here, the water flows northeast across Saskatchewan where it meets up with the North Saskatchewan River just east of Prince Albert. Now known as the Saskatchewan River, it moves slowly across the province and into Manitoba where it enters the top of Lake Winnipeg at Grand Rapids. From here, slowly moving and meandering, the Nelson River carries the water north where it eventually reaches the Hudson Bay. Total distance from headwaters to Hudson Bay? 2,580 kilometers. Did you know that the Red Deer River is 724 kilometers long, but has over 12,000 kilometers of tributaries? The Red Deer River is where the first Albertosaurus was discovered by Joseph Tyrell in 1884. Today, paleontologists are still uncovering new discoveries in what is known as the Badlands along the Red Deer River. But remember, a watershed is more than just the water around us. It's also the air we breathe and the places we live, work, and play. We also share it with the wildlife, birds, and plants. I'm going to leave you with something to think about. Water consumption is one way we impact our watershed. How much water do you think North Americans use in one day per person? About 330 liters or 87 gallons per person a day. That's 2.7 times more than people in Germany and almost 30 times more than people in Africa. That's an incredible difference. Doesn't it make you wonder what we could be doing better? The more we learn, the better we understand, the more we can help.